In this video, we're going to play a game of Guess That NES Game AI Edition, or Guess The NES. There are numerous AI image generators out there that let you create the wildest abominations that your imagination can dream up. Before the robots completely take over, I figure we can try to have a little fun with it. The way this will work, I have given a prompt to DeepAI, their image creator, that encompasses the essence of an NES game. Whether it be the title of the game or a specific and noteworthy element of the game that will hopefully make it to where you can guess which game inspired that AI image. For example, here's an easy one. I told it to show me a plumber in red overalls sliding down a flagpole before entering a tiny castle. Something that should narrow it down to the first Super Mario Brothers game, and sure enough, BAM! So, I'll flash an AI image on the screen for 10 seconds. We'll do 10 of these. You'll see the timer show up here. And you have that amount of time to guess the NES game. Afterward, I'll reveal the answer and the prompt I used to get there. Alright, here's the first one. Ready, set, go! The answer is the Battle of Olympus. The prompt I gave was literally the Battle of Olympus and everyone is eating olives. If you've ever played the Battle of Olympus, you know that you have to collect olives for currency. And here, why are the olives on fire? I guess they kind of look more like Brussels sprouts. And what is this thing in the background? Is that a rock? A, a cloud? A chunky tornado? Uh, either way, eat your olives, kids. They're good for you. Also, I love this bare-legged guy out here with three arms trying to warn people of the chunky tornado that's about to rip up their outdoor picnic. All right, let's do another one. The answer is Toki. The prompt I provided was an angry ape wearing a football helmet and spitting at his enemies. And well, it delivered. I think this one is pretty obvious if you're familiar with the game. Toki doesn't always wear a helmet, but what he does, I imagine he looks a lot like this. I didn't even have to tell it to have him spit fire, but that is one of Toki's attacks, so this one turned out pretty cool. He's also firing a bullet out of his mouth. Really nice touch. I also love seeing Toki's teammates in the background here, horrified that he started murdering the opposition right in the middle of the monkey football game they were playing. No, Toki, what are you doing? Too far, too far! Next up. The answer is Trog. The prompt was dinosaur roving around and collecting colorful dinosaur eggs, while being chased by cavemen. The dinosaurs here look more like dinosaurs than the goofy one you control in Trog, and the cavemen here are more like park rangers, but the dwelling back there is oddly reminiscent of the ones you encounter in the game, which is pretty sweet. All right, let's do another. The answer is City Connection. The prompt I gave was Tiny Red Car Leaps Over Gaps, Collects Oil, and Tries Not to Run Over a Cat. And, well, aside from the oil part, the AI kinda nailed it because that's clearly... What is that, honey? Or maybe it went with cooking oil or grease instead of what we think of as motor oil. Now, you never really drive on rocks in the game. It is called City Connection after all, but you do have to avoid running into a cat, which... Here, it looks like the cat is perfectly safe from us, and we're safe from it, so good. Next. The answer is Top Gun. While there are a lot of military-themed games on the NES where you pilot a jet, Top Gun is best remembered for the segments where you must precisely land the plane back on the tiny carrier in the middle of the ocean. A lot of folks find this to be particularly difficult and has sort of become the most remembered aspect of the game. The prompt I gave was, Jet has trouble landing on an aircraft carrier in the middle of the ocean. And the AI rightly assumed that a carrier barely the size of the plane itself would present a challenge. All right, next one. The answer is Conan. 
I recently covered this game on my channel, and one confusing part early in the game is finding where to get the shield you need for the next level. It's in an unassuming area, and it takes a bit of effort to whack it free from the statue. The prompt I gave was, Barbarian struggles to retrieve a shield from a statue. And was surprised to see the statue actually had a spare shield to lend Conan here. He just has to wrench it loose. For some reason, the statue is also gripping a cane? This one might be more of a deep cut, but I couldn't resist including it because the two-shielded statue cracks me up. I guess you could also see this as Conan ramming his own shield against the statue, but if he is, he's holding it backward like a moron. Anyway, next. The answer is Felix the Cat. This one should be easy. The prompt I gave was, Fancy black cat wearing a hat pilots a submarine underwater. And it did okay. Uh, in the game, Felix's submarine looks more like his face than this cute little submarine here. And the submarine here has nothing to protect the pilot from drowning. I think there needs to be a cover here somewhere. Also, at a glance, it looks like Felix is holding a gun by the barrel, which is odd. We should move on. The answer is... Worm. Journey to the center of the Earth. Now, the game itself is not about worms actually journeying to the center of the Earth or anywhere, but for this one, I made the prompt literal. A giant worm journeying to the center of the Earth. And sure enough, here you go. The game itself is quite different than what you might expect based on the title. It has shooter stages, first-person shooting stages, sorta, and side-scrolling platforming stages. It's wild. All right, two more. Here's the next one. The answer is Monster Party. In Monster Party, you play as a boy who wields a bat and can transform into a winged monster. The AI did a great job here with the prompt I gave it, which was a boy wielding a bat can transform into a gargoyle-like creature. And the flaming bat is a nice touch, although the tail has a knotted phone cord look to it back there. It's still a solid image. All right, last one, here you go. The answer is Gumshoe. This one is probably one of the easier ones. The prompt was Gumshoe Detective floats through the air collecting balloons as you shoot at him. And sure enough, we have what is clearly a 1930s era detective midair surrounded by balloons. But instead of indicating that he is being shot at, which in the game you do with the light gun, and it would be hard to illustrate that, the AI gave our detective one gun melded into his hand in another hand that is just shaped like a gun, with a very stiff-looking pointer finger. It looks more like he's excited to see someone from a distance than anything else. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you had fun. And if you did have fun, and think this is something you wouldn't mind a little more of, let me know in the comments below. And as always, be on the lookout for Chunky Tornadoes, and thanks for watching.